Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Hamilton Beach brew station. So this does make 12 cups of coffee, but it's in a little different station. It doesn't have a normal coffee pot that it brews into, but it's great if you have a travel mug and you want to just put it underneath there and serve it. When you push it, it'll dispense the coffee. So that's what these are really good for. Over here on the right, we've got the water reservoir, but we can remove it. We can take it over to the sink. We can fill it up. We can clean it. And then we're going to put it right back on there. Up here, this is where you're going to put the coffee. So that takes a standard 8 to 12 cup basket style coffee filter. You're going to put it right there. Put your ground coffee there. And then the hot water is going to brew out of this brew head. Brew the coffee, but it's going to go sit below it. This is going to be like a holding chamber for the coffee. Now you can take it out for cleaning, but... This is where the coffee goes and a full 12 cups goes in there. And there's a heating element in there that keeps the coffee warm. There's even a little sight glass on the side here that shows you how much coffee has brewed. So we can take this off. There's that heating element. This is going to keep the coffee warm inside this. Now this is a little big. You do have to wash this. Um, it is dishwasher safe, but it is kind of big. And we can see when we press the button, that's how you get the coffee. You press this. There's a little lever and it, it pushes that up and that's where the coffee is dispensed. So it comes out right there. Okay, so let's take a look at the control panel. To program it, you can program this to start in the morning. It's got a program button. Here's the on off button. This is what's gonna start the coffee brewing if you wanna start right now. We've got brew options. We got one to four cups. We've got a bold brew. And then with there's neither one of these, that's just a normal brew. We can set the time. We can also set the keep warm. How long is the coffee gonna stay warm before it shuts off inside there? You can go zero, one hour, two hour, three hours, or four hours. The default is two hours. After two hours, the coffee maker shuts off and the coffee will start to get cold in there. We can even do an iced coffee. Now the iced coffee is, you're gonna fill this up to the 10 cup mark with ice. And then you're going to put some water in, not as much water, and then you're going to brew the coffee over the ice, and it does make a pretty nice cold coffee. Okay, so this measurement for travel mugs is going to be pretty critical. So with the drip tray is about seven and a quarter. You can take this drip tray out and get a full, almost a seven and a half inch travel mug will fit under there. Okay, so I got my water reservoir filled up. We're going to brew a pot of coffee. That was very easy to fill up with this handle. Now you're gonna put one tablespoon of coffee grounds in for every cup you're gonna brew. Since I'm brewing 12 cups, I'm gonna put 12 tablespoons of coffee right here. If I was only gonna brew eight cups, just fill it up to the eight mark. This coffee maker, when you press the brew button, it brews whatever amount of water you put in here. So let's get our coffee grounds at a medium grind, just normal coffee, put it right in there. We're gonna put 12 tablespoons. Okay, so I got my ground coffee in there. We're gonna close the lid and you're simply gonna press the start button. And it's gonna start brewing coffee. Okay, so it starts brewing right away. We're gonna time it, and I'm gonna do some temperature checks along the way, and we'll see how hot the coffee is when we're all done. Okay, so let's just get a sneak peek. There's a brewing coffee. Okay, so it's been about three minutes. Let's take another sneak peek. Yeah. Okay, so the water at the top of the brew is about 192 is what I'm seeing. 190, it's a little hard. Yeah, 195. I did see 196. Okay, so Miss Fiona has come for her treat. So the neat thing about this coffee maker is so we're at the six cup mark. We're at the five minute mark. We've got some coffee in there. So we've got four cups of coffee. I could grab a cup of coffee right now. It'd be pretty strong, but I can grab a cup of coffee right now while it's brewing. Okay, so let's take another peek. Okay, so we've got just a little bit left to go. Let's go ahead and dispense some coffee. It claims to be one-handed operation, and yep, I can push in that lever and get my coffee out. looks really good. Let's see how hot it is. So that's a very hot cup of coffee. 169. Yeah, very hot. 
Okay, so towards the end of the brew, you do get a little bit of steam coming out and it is popping a little bit. So right about the nine, almost 10 minute mark, this coffee maker is finishing up. Okay, so you can even grab some coffee with your mug, push in on that little lever. Here comes the hot coffee out. Yeah, dispense is pretty nice. Let up, I usually don't get too many drips out of it either. And again, yeah, that's a really hot cup of coffee. So let me try some out of this earlier I brewed. Well, that's a really nice cup of coffee. It's very strong. Um, I like being able to dispense into a travel mug. That's a very nice feature. So the coffee maker will turn off after two hours or however long you've got the keep warm set for. Or if you want to just turn it off now, just hit that button. The blue light goes out and the coffee maker shuts down. Here's how the coffee grounds did. Now there's this little handle back here. This is what you're going to use to grab that. And then there's your coffee. So when you're dispensing coffee, there's where it's coming from. Now when you're all done, you will have to clean this part here. So I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.